this is Hans, and it's time for another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles, and I'm doing a mukbang today, so i got to cook this up. This is Daibok and their habanero spicy chicken. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. And is this the one I used last time? It is. I don't want to put this on here to warm it up. And that on there. And we're going to do four minutes. And fifteen seconds now. So yeah. So, yeah, we had snow, and then we had a little more snow, and we might get more snow, but it's just going to get, like, brutally cold. It's clear right now, and it's supposed to be clear tonight. I think we're going to be down in the 20s, Ow. and uh, yeah. So let's see, today's Thursday, and I've now done nine reviews this week, and tomorrow's Friday, so I'll try to slam through another three, and that's good, I like that, I'm, I'm in the 4,570s right now, and I think the one I released today was like 4,392. So, by the time I get to 4,400, uh, I won't be at 4,600, but I'll be nearing it. Which is good and bad. The good part of it is, I'm way ahead. So, if something happened, I could just, like, post and post and post and post. I'm almost six months ahead. Uh, the downside of it is, is if I have something that I really like. Like, for example, the last one. That will be on the top ten uh, cups list. Uh, and if I want it to be on that list, because that will come out May, June, something like that. These episodes, so these episodes come out before the episode, before the post comes out. Well, the last one that I did, uh, yeah, the last one I did should be coming out like July 7th. So that doesn't work. So I'll probably do a switch switcheroo on that one. But, yeah. And I, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> because usually, if it's going to be on the list, I'd want it to, eh, anyways, now you know. But yeah, that, that one was really good, and it's the same company, uh, Mommy Chef and uh, Mommy Double Decker does the Mommy Chef, that's like their primo line, and then there's Shinsegai of uh, South Korea, and so this one's a collaboration between the two. They develop it in Korea, and they manufacture it in Malaysia, because hey, varieties are very popular in Southeast Asia that come from south korea so one thing you'll notice about this one uh yeah oh god i don't even know if you can see it let's see if you can see it i don't think you can do i do this is this when i do this do i do that Uh, uh, get in there, get closer. Well, at the end of the barcode, in little letters on their side, it says IND. You'll also notice underneath the barcode, it says FSSAI. That's the FDA for India. So this can be imported into India, and this is the package that is imported into India. But honestly, the difference is like minimal. Um, 
I don't know. It's a real battle with like export varieties and stuff. I generally, if it's coming to the U.S., it's got U.S. labeling. It's from China or from somewhere else. And it looks like it's just literally only for sale in the U.S. I'll do that. This one is identical to the one that's for sale in Malaysia, as far as I know. So, yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. So that's that. And this is done. So let's do this. Hot cup. Actually, that's a different brand. Anything that has to do with noodles, I swear, there's already a brand for it. This cup is hot. Oh, well, if you like hot cups, I, be I believe Maggie Hot Cup is a variety in Malaysia, actually. Um, probably Hot Cuppa. That'd probably be like an Australian product. I know there's Nature's Cuppa, which I think is a, a Asian, uh, an Australian tea. There we go. We're going to drain this. Do that. As I abscond with this and drain. interesting because it has a garnish and it has the spicy sauce but it meant, they mentioned put both of it in oh that looks very uh, yeah there's sesame it looks like there's some seaweed possibly and the spicy liquid drizzle. I like to toothpaste it. That's when I like fold it down. And fold it a little more. At least on this style pack. Sachet thing. I am really pleased to say that I believe today I'm going to have to go to the mail room and get a package that's full of Indonesian stuff that somebody from Australia sent over. I'm really hopeful. That would be so, so cool. It's like the United States Postal Service lost it too. And I know she spent a lot of money to ship it to me because shipping from Australia or to Australia is absolutely stupid expensive. I don't know why, but you know, I just don't know, folks. So there we are with that. So yeah, this is a habanero one. No, I'm not gonna taste it right now. You'll get to see that on professional spicy mukbang or whatever I'm calling it today. I call it all sorts of things. There's, there used to be just called spicy noodle mukbang, but then I wanted to throw the professional thing into it. And the reason I like to call it professional mukbang is because I'm not just here to put on a show for you, okay? If if I think it's incredibly spicy, you're gonna see me like going, ooh, this is hot, this is really hot, this is, this is super hot. If I don't, I'm not gonna jump in down and make a show, and I see people do that a lot, a lot. Um, there was the Bulldog, Forex controversy. Controversy, yeah. It was uh, a bl uh, purple. And some distributor in the Philippines called it Forex. 
and it took off. It's like, that ain't no 4X. And that was the Mala version. And it was like, it just had some Szechuan pepper with it. And it was, it was strong. Don't get me wrong, it was strong stuff. But uh, it was not for, it wasn't like 16,000 SHU. I remember people going like, oh, I got the Forex. And you know what? A couple of the people were nice about it and they were honest. And that really meant a lot to me when I saw people being honest about it. But when it came down to it, it was really like 0.5X. It was half the Scoville heat unit of the uh, of the original so this looks to be I know I had there was a challenge they had you do this one the habanero spicy chicken and you do the habanero kimchi kimchi chikai and you were supposed to eat one of each and I did it and it was pretty grueling that was a while back. Well, oh, come on. This is ch chicken seasoned with Maggie. And, uh, what do you call it? I sauteed it with, uh, cumin. And, uh, was it Maggie, cumin, paprika, and stuff called za'atar, which is a Middle Eastern seasoning. And then we've got our sesame seed. I think that'll work. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna do a mukbang. I'll move the chicken and the spring onion kind of out of the way when I do it. But uh, yeah, watch and enjoy it. It's gonna spin around. <laughs> Thank you.